Hey, how's it going? John from Branson Cerakote and Laser here. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Applicator Showdown. It's basically a competition we came up with to run a couple of people through our training course. And then at the end, they're going to kind of go head to head with a couple of Glocks. At the end, we're going to post pictures on YouTube and let everybody vote on who they think has the best project out of all of them. And the winner's going to get a oven from Light Armor, who is sponsoring the series. So let's get to it. Thanks for watching. All right, so we're going to flip the coin and see who goes first to uh, spin for colors. So heads or tails? Heads. So heads will be the side with the colors on it, tails will be the side without. This is our uh, Las Vegas Station 43 coin. And it is heads. Spin away, man. All right. Brown. Brown. Nice, safe color. Starting out good. All right, come on over. Bone is ringing. No. Red. Uh -huh. White. You get to pick, nice. Two more. Ooh, you pick. Two in a row. One more. Two more. Red again. It's all right, there's ways to, that'll actually tie in good. Green. Green. One more. Yeah, for sure. Black. Yeah, you can you can uh -huh. do something cool with that. So you get a dark red and a light red. Alright, so now we're gonna race the board, put the patterns on there, and we'll be right back. Don't mess it up. <laughs> it's like I got an idea. Don't mess it up. <laughs> Digital. <laughs> Fleck tarn. That's a, you can work with that easy. Old school. You can actually do that. Yeah. That's like old school deck. Okay. Cool. I think I can get it. Got it. Yeah. Well, we've done so far is we stenciled yeah. our ducks on. And now we're gonna do green over the top of our burnt bronze. We left all the controls burnt bronze, and we're just gonna spray the three parts. Oh, that looks nice. I like it a lot. Look at that. 
That was really good. You redeemed the ducks, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, you pulled the ducks off. I didn't think you had it in you, but you do. That's cool in the front there too, how the... Yeah. That. Wow. That came out nice. Oh, yeah, Ooh, that's good looking. Right in that side, that green. Yeah, yeah, that looks neat. That's that's super cool, man. Why'd y'all have to get the good colors? <laughs> he got lucky with them. Yeah. With, with getting the duck camo and getting the colors that he got. Even that top color, I like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That custom color you guys made, I like that a lot. Super random, but it, looked, it turned out nice. I would've brought my Wilson slide in. You could've used the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there where it's not mass. That last color's gonna go. It's really gonna make that thing pop, man. Yeah, we're just gonna get the, the grip panels here to make it uh, do the burnt bronze on it. Just kind of make them stand out on their own. It's gonna look good, man. It already does look good. This uh, little extra step is. Yeah. Is what really does it. Or at least that's the story we're gonna go with, right? I'm gonna stick with it. That's right. Yeah, that ain't bad, right? Uh -huh, I like that. Cool, man. Like the way that yeah. be able to. The way the gray and the red yeah, how it blends together. like that. that that's yeah, super like that. cool, man. Especially where you can see through the, to the interior of it and you have that red on the inside. Pretty neat, huh? You know, like you look through all of the holes in the frame and you can see the red yeah. interior. Hey, so if you're enjoying what you're seeing so far, head on over to applicatorhangout.com, join up, and there's all kinds of information, free downloads and discounts on there.
Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hey, it's Jeremy with uh, Branson Cerakote Laser. Um, doing the uh, showdown show today with Brian here. How's it going, everybody? I'm Andrew. We just got done with season five, and this is Brad from uh, Columbia, Tennessee. And uh, this is my entry for this uh, episode of yeah, the, the Cerakote showdown. Cerakote showdown. We ended up with a uh, fleck tarn pattern, kind of. We kind of winged it on that. Uh, had to use black, battleship gray, ruby red, and crimson. Crimson red, yep. Try to make them all fit together with a flecked iron pattern. Um, we we kind of did some creative stuff with it, so it's not really a, a true flecked iron pattern, but we're just trying to do something out of the box and something different to make the red work. But kind of blended in the battleship gray in kind of a unique way to make it reduce the black and bring out some of the red. So we got, uh, luckily we got the pick your own color. That really saved us on this project. And he uh, he was smart with it and picked the burnt bronze. Um, we got the duck camo. And honestly, I think so far, this is probably my favorite gun that we've done for the, uh, the whole competition. Um, I really think that Brad's either gonna go home with either the oven or at least a gun in my opinion. Uh, he was very smart about it. So first he did the, the burnt bronze laid all his ducks down. He sprayed the green over it, and then he's even got some of the ducks like over with the green inside of it, so they really pop out. And then we uh, went back over that with FDE, and then we kind of uh, got a custom color that kind of sort of came out more like a smoke bronze. Really, we uh, we took the FDE and we drew white, and so we mixed the white and the FDE together. Yeah. But it came out sort of like a grayish color. And so, so yeah, it, it wasn't really dark enough for us. And so we added some of the burnt bronze because we were out of FDE and it kind of gave us like this smoke bronze, which I think turned out probably even cooler than what we originally had in like mine or whatnot. And Brian, where are you visiting us from? I'm from South Louisiana and I have, my shop is Lake Panier Customs. Um, I'm located right next to the lake to turn into a whirlpool down in South Louisiana. Uh, that's a whole other story in itself. But uh, I build custom rifles and uh, I'm trying to get into the Cerakote market in my area. I, I still do uh, regular gunsmithing, uh, gunsmithing by appointment. You can look me up on lakepenura.com. If you're not sure how to spell it, just start out spelling it like it sounds on Google and it'll come up. Uh, but yeah, that's where I'm from. A little town called Erath. Dude, I, mean, I really think you did a great yeah, job. I like I really it. Do. And then I, going know. back and taping everything off and having the burnt bronze on top, I think it turned out phenomenal. Yeah, I mean, you know, at first I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out. And then after, you know, we got it all put back together and everything, it, it's like, hey, that's, it's that's kind of cool. It, it is. Like it's that. a pretty cool looking gun. Well, what do you think about it? Uh, it wasn't a train wreck I expected it to be. Came out okay. Growing Salve on me. Salvaged it a little bit, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. What was the plan? Plan, plan J, yeah, I think H, J or K, somewhere something in there. like that. Yeah, somewhere in there. We had to back up and punt a few times, but we got it. I think it came together though. Yeah. Thanks, Brad. I appreciate no problem. You. If you ever need anything, just give us a call. We'll be we'll happy to help you out. Uh -huh. All right. See you guys next time. Well, cool. Did you have a good time this week? Oh yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. The episode's over. What are you still doing here? Go to the internet and order your light armor oven.